Well, the mics are definitely working. What? I can't hear you. I don't think the mics are working. Wow. How about be more professional, OSR? Seriously. Incompetent. Rookies. Hey, welcome back to our stupid drag support. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to every sports on Patreon. Follow us for your Twitter account, subscribe, and hit that like button. I am just pretending to be some of the comments. <sighs> Let's see you do it. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about our new non-bar interview. Uh, with, uh, yeah. Oh, no, no. One of them is a non-bar. The yeah. other one is a Malieli that I don't remember the name. Correct. I need to. Um, well, we can call her our dost. A dosty. Uh, VJ Sithopathy. Um, I'm sorry about the audio. I checked about could have been worse thousand times. He did, and I was sitting beside him. He had the sound in his earphones, and it was picking up the red like it always does. We, it's a mystery. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm a paranoid person while recording, and it just I don't know what the hell happened. Anyways, but you could still hear it. Welcome back. Hello. Today we're doing another movie review. <laughs> Of said non-bar's new film that we saw at IFLA um, this year called Maharaj. 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 Which means king, I believe. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Starring our non-bar, Vijay Sethupathy, and our dost, Anurag Kashyap. And do, uh, I wish this uh, would, would go, go away. Would go away. Yeah, um, it so won't. I, I think it's the same guy. Yeah, uh, it's the director and writer is Nathalie Simonatin. Forgive yes. mispronounce. Yeah, um, it's the new 2024 film that came out. I think a few weeks ago for you guys, and then they held it in Southern California specifically, yeah. so they could show it at IFLA, which is why no Showtime showed up at all here. I thought it was weird. Um, but they did it on purpose. Um, anyway, so this will be, um, we'll do some non-spoilers. Non non-spoiler spoiler front since it's in theaters. Yeah, but um, since it's already been out, so we'll, we'll do some uh, some spoiler talks. But we will let you know before we do that, okay? Rick, your initial non-spoiler thoughts of Maharaja. I liked it. Yeah? Yep. Oh, wow. Well, that was easy. So, see you later, everybody. <laughs> um, I liked it. It's not a perfect movie. But it's it is definitely one that's good enough to to uh, merit the the critical success it's having and the the uh, the acclaim in the box office and it's not a surprise when you have VJ Satapati because he's not just an actor who you're going to enjoy watching act but the choices that he makes are pretty much always really solid. He's the kind of actor I think we said this to him in the review that if you're if you're in a film yeah. we don't even really need to see the trailer because we know not only are you going to do an incredible job as an actor, but the choices that you make and the people that you work with. And if you haven't seen the interview, please do see the interview. Um, so yeah, I don't, it's not a perfect film, but I, mm -hmm. I, I really enjoyed it. I laughed a lot, which I didn't expect to lots of funny spots. Mm -hmm. And I liked, there's a particular twist to it that yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I really liked. Yeah. 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 I, I enjoyed it as well. And I, I have similar feels in terms of mostly probably technical and the, like how it was filmed. It, um, not like the not like the story or the the, the 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 weaving of the story, but the actual shooting, the directing um, of it. Uh, I think you could see this newness of this director a little bit because um, I think his first one was just a short film, or was it a full film? I can't remember. I can't remember either. But it was uh, <clears throat> the Kurgungu Bomai, yeah. uh, and that was in 2017, whatever it was. And then this was his uh, second feature here i just felt like at times you could definitely feel some of the the newness of a, of the director um as opposed to like if if it was an on your film you, stuff would maybe be a little more polished yeah not in the story not in the um acting or anything like that just the the filmmaking aspects of it that's and the flow think, of the film yeah that's where i think a lot of the um the the faults for me lie uh, yeah. in this film but yeah. i think there's a way more good than there is uh negative about this absolutely film. um it's starting with a our Bar. It's wonderful to say. <laughs> He's one that I didn't know that we would ever be able I to know. talk to. He yeah, was, uh, in person. Yeah, let alone when I interviewed. We you know? didn't know until about earlier the week of Ifla that he was coming. There was a post that yeah he was actually coming, and I'd asked them multiple times like, "Who's coming?" They're like, "Ah, it's just directors and blah 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 liars." Um, <laughs> but um, when we found out, I I I. I 
tried every avenue to try to get. Uh, to I'm, get I'm pretty sure Ifla wanted to keep it under wraps as much as they possibly could. And none of the interviews this time were because of Ifla, outside of that's where we met. Them. Right. We didn't have like a. a press no, it wasn't like, like we last Berlin time. Or, Correct. Or Which is why the interviews got to be as long as yeah, they were. Exactly. But his performance in this um, was really good. His his performance, I feel like, are always so subtle. I, I, I feel like since he doesn't come from like theater or other thing he doesn't feel the need to um not that all theater actors are big but, but he does he, he, have uh, some theater experience does he what yeah remember he said he started off working in a theater watching theater actors oh but he didn't do theater though no. right no yeah okay yeah um, no you mean like yeah, yeah no, no, stage no, like actors like nasir yeah 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 yeah, yeah. those over actors like nasir, nasir. yeah exactly <laughs> yeah those really bad actors that have theater backgrounds you know what I'm talking know, about. But talking about. <laughs> um, because he's always so subtle and, and usually very small uh, in, in his um, comedy and his um, in his style of acting, um, which I, I love that about him. And then he brought and we talked about it in the interview. He brings a lot of humor a lot of times to a lot of his work. obviously the the Sulu, that comedy that we saw about a month ago, dude, did the watchling of his that has that's the, the full on black comedy. Yeah. This has some comedy in it, and especially in the writing of it. Especially in the uh, front part yes. of the film. Um, the way that um, he just has his character, his dialogue delivered is absolutely <laughs> very, very funny. There's some other small supporting characters that have some humor as well, uh, but I really appreciated that part. I thought our uh, Dosti, Anurag, also did a good job. I was just sad he was, I, I, I couldn't fully tell. <laughs> I seeing it, I'm like, this look it look like a really nice performance. And then I'm like, that's not on your rog's voice. Yeah. And I get it because, you know, he's not a native speaker. It's just always <laughs> distracting to me because I'm like, that's not his voice that I'm hearing. And so I'm I'm hearing something else, and he's giving off a different thing on screen than what I'm hearing. And so that's why it always does me. But I thought he also did a, a nice job. Um, and that's, do, do you like him for his yeah, I did. visual performance? Yeah, always. Yeah. I mean, he, he too, and again, could tell he hates so acting funny. so much. For a man who says that he prefers to direct and not act, he's doing more directing. He's doing more, more acting, acting than directing right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I did. I don't want to give anything away in the front part because it's a non-spoiler section on the front part here, but I don't, I don't know how you wouldn't walk away at least having enjoyed the fact that you saw the film i can see why a lot of people would walk away having loved the film yeah absolutely yeah um and it's that especially has to do with the way the story is weaved yes um as even though in the beginning i said you could tell some of his his rookie-ness in the director the way he wove the story was not a rookie way to not at all the story i thought that was very original one of the very stronger points of the film there's is, two aspects of it that yeah. we could talk about in the spoilers that are very original yes yeah absolutely um and it, it, it t till the very end it it i thought i knew what was going on yep and then he kind of <laughs> throws your curveball throws a curveball that i did not see i coming. did not see it and and then you're watching and you're like oh maybe i should have seen that coming but um, <laughs> it was. It's actually it's, uh, hats off. Two curves in one, kind of. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about it in the spoilers. Exactly. Um, but yeah, you'll get a nice surprise that I don't think you'll see coming. Yeah, it was a uh, very well done by the the writer and director. I don't think that particular twist. I can't think of any film I've ever seen that does that to this kind of a story. <sighs> That's a rough thing to. Uh, I know. <laughs> I know. It's wonderful. Ugh. Um, yeah, probably not, maybe, um, but I don't know. Uh, I thought it was, uh, um, I, I like the, the score of it all. Um, I thought it was, uh, uh, usually complimenting throughout the film, uh, what you needed, uh, for the most part. Um, not, not something that's like, you, you're going to go home and rave about the score, but I thought right. it was a, a nice score. It was solid. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. A, a good score there. I agree. Um, and so I think most of the flaws that I would talk about is mostly in the, the either the flow slash editing, um, and then just uh, some of the actual filmmaking of it. And I thought the elusive Lakshmi did a very good job. Oh, yes. That's all I'm going to say in the non-spoiler section. <laughs> Anyways, that'll be the You'll enjoy our, Lakshmi. A, a non-spoiler, I think, if you just go into this blind, you're going to enjoy the movie. Yeah. Um, so please go watch it, um, and this will be the end of the non-spoiler section. So this so is for everybody that's seen it. Everybody now, that's seen it. You've seen it, it. yeah.
Okay. Um, yeah. So the last film we saw, he had an imaginary girlfriend. <laughs> and in this film, he has the savior of the child in the form of a dustbin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it was... I hope you had the same experience in a theater. I can't imagine you didn't, but it was rip roaring funny that when he goes to the police station for the first time yeah. to tell them about, you got to go find Lakshmi and what ensues. Yeah. Just really, really funny. Yeah. Really funny. Yeah. I agree. Especially the other guy that's there the whole time who keeps bending over to get swatted on the butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That whole, that whole sequence was very funny. And, um, there were elements that I, I heard the audience laughing that we didn't laugh. So there was clearly some yeah, even more cultural joke or yeah, or somebody popped up on screen that I uh, we don't I don't think we knew yeah. really who it was. Um, and so that happened a few times, and so I could easily see that uh, a native Tamil speaker is yeah, probably gonna for sure um, enjoy the movie even more. Yep, they're even five years in, we're <laughs> still <laughs> learning. We're not gonna get everything. Nope. Um, it, India, I think more than any other industry that I found, even though like Korean, even though obviously those are very Korean films, um, makes films for their audience, right? A lot of times, yeah. Um, as opposed to other ones that try to make it more a broad appeal in terms of how the film is made and, and what they're trying to say. India was like, we're, we're making this for our Tamil audience yep. right now. Yep. And if everybody else likes it, great. Right. If not, ah, oh well, what are you going to do? And sometimes it does have a broad international appeal. I mean, a yeah, lot yeah. of them do. Yeah. A lot of them do. I mean, um, Triple R is a great example of that. Exactly. Um, and so the, the very, once again, spoiler, 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 please go away. The very end, when you when you find out, <laughs> that's one of the most like I did not see coming not at all at all not at all um, first of all because it's it's kind of two things in one one I didn't expect the child to be someone else's period yes let alone his <laughs> so it's a double whammy in, in one shot that's awful <laughs> And then he has to come. What a great gift for, for Anurag as an actor to play that character and realize what you've done, you've done to your own daughter. Oh, my God. <laughs> so terrible. It's so terrible. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, that, that, I just remember sitting there looking at it going, oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Well, what? see? Well, yeah, yeah, just goes you. to show you. Another reason that you can chalk up, I know there's not a lot, but if you're looking for reasons to not kidnap and rape people, one of them could be your kid. Yeah. <laughs> only a few reasons. Only you a few reasons. Only a few reasons you should do that. Five or six. Good Lord. Um, yeah, when, I, when that happened, I was like, that was good. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> that and was, again, I that cannot. Was very good. That's one of the big highlights of the film is I cannot think of another film ever where it turned out that the antagonist's victim somehow became their child and yeah. they realize it it may be out there but i don't know it yeah i don't and that's that's in a world full of uh prequels sequels and remakes that's wonderful to see something so original that's the high marks of of the things that's enjoyable about this film is its originality yeah um from the dustbin to that reveal at the end. Yeah, and I think there were some some nice fight scenes as well. Uh, you could tell they didn't have the budget to do everything they wanted to do as well. And yeah. Those are some of the technical things I'm talking about. But, yeah. like, there's one fight scene with VJ, and he's, he's killing this one guy. And it's not fair also. I was keeping this in mind the whole time because it was underwhelming, the fight sequence. And yes. one of the reasons it kill. was underwhelming is we just saw we Kill. We just saw Kill. And I, and I was thinking to myself, do not, not fair. Yeah. You you cannot. This is not that film. The action sequences are not going to be like yeah. Kill. But so. I thought, especially that one specifically, I thought was um, the best one of the film. Right? Yeah, uh, I agree. that that scene where he was uh, kind of killing the guy. But you could tell. And Anurag, dude, I saw you doing your own stuff there a few times. I saw you. You did a couple of stair falls. You you look like you got a little banged up there, bud. Yeah. Um, Good work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
um, yeah, I thought that fight scene was really nice. Um, yeah. But you could just you could just tell when when certain things happen, and you just know what filmmaking is and what you need budget wise. You're like, yeah, yeah they probably if they had more money, I bet they would have hired a stunt coordinator, not done VFX there, or, or just you know been able to do it. Uh, yeah, you, and you know what's practical as uh, they wanted to. Uh, there's many reasons why you have Anurag in this role. One of them being you know you've got somebody there with the gravitas to play opposite because they they're opposite each other a lot um especially in the end but moving forward i mean the the gravitas is the word yeah you can't just have it's like it's very comparable to what we saw you have to have a parvati mm -hmm. opposite urvashi mm -hmm. otherwise they will be completely overshadowed yeah and you need an Anurag opposite a VJ, yeah. or they'll get lost. It's kind of crazy because he's a very good actor. I, once again, I really wish I was able to hear his voice uh, in this. It always Anurag's a very good actor. Yeah, he is. Is he the best director act? Canceling out Kamal because he doesn't That's, doesn't he, count because he doesn't count. No, he's a unicorn. Even though I know he he's more of an actor who's been a director. I'm talking about well, and he's more of a director. Like let's say Vishal Bardwash decided to act, right? Right. I don't know if we've seen that. Right. Um, Somebody who's more of a director that has acted many times before. Uh, so canceling out uh, um, Kamal Hassan because, you know. <laughs> in, yeah. The only one, the first one that comes to mind is in American cinema. Uh. And it's going to be, you're going to, it's going to be like, what? oh, no, that makes sense. Mel Brooks. Oh, yeah. Mel Brooks does a buttload of acting. Yeah. But is also known predominantly. For his direction, Taika Waititi is actually a, a quite a good actor. Yes, especially he is. Especially comedy wise. Yes, he um, is. Um, yeah, Mel's a great comedic actor, uh, but I can't think currently anybody else. I mean, directors make cameos, but I can't think of any other directors who just straight up are acting in films, not just of their own, but in other people's films. Yeah, there are actors that turn directors, but not directors that turn actors. Um, many actors also became directors. Mel Gibson is an actor turned director. Bradley Cooper is an actor turned director. You get that a lot. Yeah. Uh, but director think, turned actor is very rare. I, I'm trying to see if there's like um, any articles ever about like the best in India, but I can't seem to find it um, because. It might not be there. Farhan started as an actor, right? Farhan Akhtar? You know, I don't know. But he'd but be he the would, next person in my mind that he, if, is he, both. If he is included more of as a director, because I know he's done a lot of directing. But is he like Kamal? Is he more of a act? But uh, he's done quite a few of directing. I don't know, because he would be above Anurag. He's the first person that comes to my mind. Yeah, he, would, he would be above Anurag. Yeah. Um, but obviously, Anurag is, in my mind, much more of a director. Oh, like, yeah. He's predominantly a director. Everybody knows Anurag is yeah, a director. Yeah, it would be like, it'd be like suddenly LJP is acting. Yeah. yeah and you'd be, oh, okay. Um, Farhan, obviously, <laughs> if you're including both, yeah, he would be way above Anurag um, because he's a great actor and he's a very good director. Yeah. Um, but it, it's, I think you'd, to do that list, you'd have to come up with a criteria. Do you just have to direct one film to qualify? Probably right. not. I Probably think you not. Need to, you have to have a few. I think you three at least. For what I'm trying to figure out, it's like you're predominantly a director, a director. right? And then you've decided to act. No, because if you if you mention Anurag to people, I, I think first and foremost, uh, directing yeah. directing comes to mind. But he's done so much acting, yeah, that it's kind of like fifty fifty. That's the way I think about Farhan. Farhan to me is equal parts actor and director. director. Yeah. yeah. And that's but I then, considered on your equal but then parts if actor you include director. Farhan, can you do you have to include Kamal because Well Kamal's a unicorn. Yeah. Kamal's Kamal's more than just an actor director. He is a walking motion picture creator. Mm -hmm. I mean, he does he and, can literally do anything now, that needs to be and done. And now Danush, Danush yeah. has done a few directing that's, things, but absolutely. That, that's the opposite of what I'm trying to talk about now. That's an actor turning director. Correct. As opposed to director doing acting right um so if you you have thoughts on that please let me know i'm just curious now um because i think anurag would be very high on that list in terms of indian cinema maybe even world cinema because i don't know a lot of direct yeah <laughs> usually they don't often there'll be actors that turn directing 
um, but directors that turn acting. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen as often. No, not at all, um, comparatively. One, I think you just like being in control more <laughs> as a director. Yeah. If, uh, if you're a director. But I thought all the supporting guests, I think, did a, a very good job. Including I the, did too. Including Kid. I thought the, yeah. like, like a lot of the sub inspectors. Um, I thought <coughs> did a good job. There yep. was a, some comedy there. I agree. Um, and I thought the whole film as a whole was solid. What, do, what medal are you giving it? I'm giving it the gold. A gold? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I was debating between silver and gold, and part of me was kind of going back toward the silver with the fight sequences and, and some of the directing stuff that you pointed out. And I thought, yeah. no, 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 no. This is this is worthy of a gold. I, I, I'd, I'd watch it again, and I'd watch it with yeah. people. Do you consider this in one of the best of the year at all or no? One of the better ones of the year. Um, yes, because one I, of the I better agree. ones. It of the is year. one of the better one of the year. But I don't know if I'd put it above these films because I did this on because I was like, oh, it's halfway in the year. Let me think of the best Indian films of the year so far. Uh, and these are the ones I, I came up with: Kill, yes, Undercurrent, yes, Manjunal Boys, yes, um, Ramayagam, yes, uh, Avesham, the yes. Fafa film, uh, Chamkira, yes, uh, and Lapacha Ladies uh, for me. Um, and so. This would be in the list. I think it would be under all those, though. Yeah. For me. I, I agree. It's one of the better films of the year, but I wouldn't say it's one of the best films of the year. And I don't yeah. mean that as a, 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 you know, a negative against the film. It just doesn't, it didn't, like, kill wowed me. Yeah. Undercurrent. And undercurrent blew me away. Yeah. It just, the it's elevative artistry at its yeah. finest for me is undercurrent. So, and and those other ones. So it's one of the better films of the year for yeah, sure. It's yeah. it's the one where you would talk about what we're at the end of the year. I think we will definitely be saying what are some of the best films of the year, and I think this will be in the yeah, conversation. I I agree, and but I think, this, but I don't consider it like uh, like Undercurrent is a f like let's win, let's win film festivals here. Yeah, yeah. So you know it was um, sad that I, I I didn't realize till after the film festival was over, even though she was right in front of us. Um, the lady that uh, won for I think it was the short film. Um, do you remember her? The, at the award show, she won the short film. She was actually sitting kind of right in front of us. Uh, I remember the lady next to us and the lady behind us. Okay. But she won for the short film. In front of us. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, yeah, there were winners all around us. Yeah. Um, she, uh, that's the actress from Briani and... Um, Shut the front door. And uh, the, the one that won, just won can. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. That's the lead from Briani? Yep. Yep. I, that's, this is so dumb. That's why she looks so familiar. Yep. And I'm mad at myself because I wanted to interview her. Oh um. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew she looked familiar. It was just one of those things I couldn't, I couldn't place. And I that happens so often. That, I follow her on Instagram. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and then she posted that, oh, we just won. I'm like, oh, holy shit. She was sitting literally right in front of me. <laughs> And the other thing about the film festival was just seeing so many beautiful, there, there's a lot of stupid babies that were there. People who watch the channel and, and love the channel and had nothing but really nice things to say and take photos with us. And that's always just amazing. But one of the highlights was um, this this couple we met and the husband said, she well, every night she watches you guys. This is what she likes to watch. She says, I watch all the things, especially your movie reviews. And the highest compliment she gave was, I know that if you guys like a movie, I can watch it and I'll like it. So that makes me very happy. What about if you're just ranting about a piano? What about then? I'm sure she agrees with me. Oh, no, no, no. She, oh, yeah. I promise you she doesn't. I guarantee. That's, ele <laughs> that's elevated focus right there. <laughs> elevated focus. <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about, watch our you review of Underhunt. You haven't been around long enough, I yeah. guess. Uh, anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about the film. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, what your thoughts about it. I don't know what your thoughts about our review are. Yeah. Um, and uh, why you think we are amateurs for having bad audio in our interview. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll never cease to surprise you. <laughs> uh, let us know down below. <laughs>